Hey guys, Earl here with CSI, here to talk to you about cast tone repair. What is cast tone? Cast tone is the architectural trim and balusters and stuff that you see in buildings, uh, often referred to as limestone. Some people call it limestone. The proper term for it is actually cast stone. So when you see like a brick building and then you see the window ledges or archways and, and doorways, they're also used for exterior patios, for balusters and rails. Pillars are made of cast stone as well. And you will see them in a lot of brickwork and exterior facades. So what we want to go over today is um, a, a house I'm working on in Kenilworth where we did the cleaning and also the repair. So today we're not going to talk about that cleaning process. We're going to talk about just the repair. So I'm going to flash through the screen a few videos and images. So let's start with the before. You're going to see edges, corners, some spackled areas, spalling areas. And a lot of this stuff is caused by water. So if you've seen these pictures, you're going to see a planter. And that planter has an automatic feeder on it. And the overwatering of that planter, the water comes down, gets in between the stone. And because we are a four season state, that moisture then gets in the stone and expands when it freezes. That expansion causes cracking, shaling, and damage to that stone, probably because the stone is not sealed. When a stone is sealed, the, mo the moisture and water does not penetrate the, the stone the same way it does when it is sealed, therefore limiting these kind of cracks or preventing them altogether. So here are the before pictures of this project that I worked on for the last three weeks. And um, right after this, we're going to go over the during process. So the next series of images we're going to go over is during. So working on cast on repair is weather contingent. If it rains, it's not good for the repair, even when we wrap it up with plastic, because high moisture and high humidity, it affects the curing process. The same is said for a very hot day. Those 93 degree days where you have a week or two where there's no moisture at all. Direct heat on a repair will dry out the repair too fast and um, compromises the integrity of the repair. So these images here are the during process. It's very hard to create a repair and have it replicate exactly the way the stone was casted. So just to give you an idea, forms are made, these, the cast stone material is then placed in there, and that's why they call it cast stone. Once it's casted to the spec of the project, then it is then installed, and everything looks great until there's a repair. When the repair comes, it's very hard to get it the exact same color and exact same texture. So here now, let's look at these pictures of the afters. So what you're seeing here is all the areas I worked on over the course of uh, three weeks. And as you can see, um, it's pretty close. It's not 100% accurate. The color matching is pretty close on there. And we do have swatches to make these colors where I normally would take a sample, bring it to the manufacturer to get me the closest thing they can. And if you didn't know that there was a repair there, you probably wouldn't notice it right away unless you really looked at it or you know we worked on it. So these corners here and the top ledge there on that pillar can be very challenging. It's hard because you got to match the contour, the shapes, you know, the dimensions of the repair and then try to make it appear as if it never happened. So it's very challenging. So it's very notable when we do these kind of repairs is that the matrix repair material 
has a synthetic blend in it and it's different from the original material of the cast stone. This is because the matrix has an additive bond, bonding agent to it. And this bonding agent is what allows it to grab onto the cast stone and, and really bond to it almost as if it was casted, but not that strong, of course. The tinsel strength is not the same. And also, when we do a repair where the color matches, also keep in mind that your cast stone might be 10 or 20 years old, and the weathering, the elements, the rain, the snow, the sun, all that stuff affects the color of your cast stone from the original cast. Therefore, when we do a color match, the patch repair area also needs a few years to weather. And as it weathers, it looks more and more like the original stone. Because remember, they're trying to match the pigment on there. And just like a car that's, let's say, 10 or 15 years old, the paint on that car is not as vibrant as it would be if you got a brand new car off the lot. Even though you get the exact same paint color and spec, if you were to paint one side of your car brand new with the same color versus a 10 year old, you know, paint that has never been um, repainted over or touched up, you're gonna see a difference. And once that weathers, they start looking more and more alike. I hope that make I hope that analogy makes sense. But so basically with a new matrix that you put in, even though the color is very close, it hasn't been weathered, number one. That's that's a key point right there. So as it weathers, it'll look more and more natural. And also, um, because the matrix filler is not the exact same composition as the cast stone, you're going to notice this when it rains after a repair. So let's say we had it repaired. It looks great. It rains next week, and you're going to see the repair areas may appear a little bit darker than the original cast stone. That's because the materials are not exactly the same. So after a repair like this, we let it dry, we wait three or four days, and then we seal everything. We seal the cast on and we seal the areas that were repaired because we want to prevent damage from happening. It's really the best way to treat cast on, especially in high moisture areas where you have planters or any kind of plumbing running for automatic feeders and stuff like that. But that said, I'm gonna keep it short today. I'm gonna, uh, you should have seen the little video I inserted in there of the during process. And uh, really, there's not much to it. It's preparing for the repair, cleaning everything properly, you know, the prep work, and then obviously the actual repair itself, dealing with the elements outside, the heat, the, the humidity, rain. Those are all things to account for. So let's say you were scheduling a service with us. Basically, since it's outside, it doesn't require us to be in your home. Um, we start the repair and we, you know, let's say we, we set a corner today. We come back the second or third day to see how it's sitting, you know, to work on it, shave it down, add more material, whatever the case may be. But we are under the mercy of the elements, rain, heat, and everything else. So sometimes... A process like this can be ongoing for a few weeks because of weather and because of curing. So on your part, you don't really have to do anything. Nobody's in your home working inside of your home. You know, it could be a nuisance and inconvenience, especially if you're having events and stuff outdoors. However, it is a process. And sometimes we say take five days. It might take 10 days. That 10 days becomes 15 days, just depending on the weather and how the material is curing. We want to ensure that we get a good bond and that the repair is uh, integrally, structurally sound and grabs on and obviously that it looks well, not just that it's got a good bond to it. We try our best to make it appear as if it never happened. That's the biggest challenge of this repair. The matrix works well, the colors we can match, the biggest thing is the blend. How do you make something brand, like, you know, you put in a brand new material on something pre-existing that's 10 years, 
where you don't want it there to be that big of a difference and it's not noticeable. For me, that's the biggest challenge. Other than that, it's straightforward. If you're interested in something like this or want more information, uh, see our links below. Our phone number's there, our website's there. You can call, we can take a look at your project, or you can send in pictures to see if it's something that we would, you know, we can take care of for you. Okay? We'll keep it short, guys. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.